everyone. Welcome to KP Classes. My name is Rukhu Raju. In today's video, we will be discussing about last minute strategy to crack CSER net at science paper. So, preparing for CSER net examination in just one month is challenging part. But, if you go through a right approach or a dedication, you will be able to crack net paper in just one month. As we know, examination will be conducting on 6th, 7th and 8th of June this year. So, there is only almost one month is left. So, you can prepare with the right way of approaching and a dedication. So, let's discuss some tips that may help you in cracking this year, next year's year paper. So, first thing is understanding the pattern of exam. We know that next year's year paper is 180 uh, minutes duration examination. Uh, there are three parts of exam. So, for, what are the different uh, types of, what are the different part? Part A, part B and part C. Part A consists of 20 questions in which only 15 questions are or the maximum number of questions to be attempted are 15. Part C consists of 80 questions in which only 25 are required. Uh, part B consists of 50 questions from which 35 are required. So, there are negative marks in all these part A, part B, part C. There are negative marks also. Uh, part A consists of uh, 2 marks for the correct answer and 0.5 for the negative uh, marking. Uh, part B is also the same, 2 marks for the correct and 0.5 is the negative uh, the dating mark for the each incorrect answer. Whereas for part C, uh, the marks for the correct answer is 4 and the negative mark will be 1.32. So this is about the exam duration and the different uh, set of paper, like the, what are the different parts in the examination and how the marking will be. So, overall total uh, questions will be 150, out of which uh, you just have to attempt uh, 50, 75 questions uh, and these 75 questions will be of 200 marks. So, <clears throat> duration is 180 minutes, number of questions is altogether 150, out of which you just need to attempt 75. Then the language part will be both um, uh, you, uh, English and Hindi paper will be available. It's up to your choice. But while giving the application, you should have chosen which is your uh, <coughs> uh, language required. Then mode of examination is online. Examination will be conducting in a computer-based test, online test. Uh, marking scheme, so I have discussed already how in part A, part B and part C, positive marks and the, uh, the correct answer marking and the negative marking for different part A, part B and part C. The next thing that you should know is uh, solving previous year question papers. For the, uh, if you solve previous year question papers, that will, uh, that will improve your time management. More the questions that you practice, more good will be your in the time management skill that will improve your speed and accuracy. When while solving the paper, you will understand which way you are making. Like when, while giving the paper, you may feel this particular way of giving the answer is correct or this particular way of thinking is right. But while checking the answers later, you will understand the way of approaching was wrong. So this. Uh, well, the more you practice the question, the more you can improve yourself in the, the way you approach, uh, the way you give the answer, the way you think a particular question. Or if it is a graph, how to approach a graph questions, how to approach a pictorial questions, how to approach a numerical questions. Everything will be, <coughs> will be you will understand yourself. You will get an idea about yourself. How good are you in solving the paper if you so start solving the previous year question paper. And the other thing is, you will understand what is next year's year paper. If you have never approached a previous year paper, if you have never solved a previous year paper, you will not be knowing how hard it is or what is the difference between part B and part C. What are the different questions they ask in part A. So, what is the exam pattern that you will only understand once you solve the previous year question. So, the more you attempt, <coughs> more better you will be in the subject. If you have finished the entire previous year question of uh, CSA and NET, then you can go for, if you are an earth science aspirant, you can go for geology related other uh, entrance examination papers, GSA paper or any other examination paper, so that you will get more knowledge or you, you will be more the questions you solve, more good thorough will be in your subject. So, solving previous year question paper is very important uh, <coughs> for practicing for uh, as a practice for net CSA examination. Next one is focus on important topics. So, we only have one month left. 
you don't have the time for entirely studying the whole subjects of geology or earth science uh, climatology oceanography part it's not possible so what you can do is go through the so these are the different topics that you have to study for the next year's year paper there will be questions from aptitude section in part a geology questions will be there geophysics questions everything will be added atmosphere science paper will be there oceanography questions will be there planetary science questions will be there so you have to go through from geology which are the important topics geochemistry geomorphology uh, then geophysics questions are very important hydrogeology questions are very important if it is geomorphology fluvial geomorphology is very important if it is <coughs> geochemistry uh, geochemistry the radioactive isotope section is very important so, so uh, if it is geophysics then seismic geophysics part is very important so every subject important topics you have to choose and revise or study go through the uh, chapters that you have read already or revise the sections of these important topics only if it is atmospheric study uh, science you understand about the atmospheric circulation uh, the climate uh, classification the important topics that is associated with that if it is oceanography you understand about the surface ocean circulations deep water circulation uh, the thermocline pycnocline halocline terminologies etc so <coughs> planetary science the same so understand the important topics and go through the uh, numericals like what is the composition of uh, seawater the, the different salt dissolved in the seawater the percentage of each so those numbers are important you should know the increasing order or decreasing order so those numbers are very important so go through those important topics or uh, <coughs> more important topics and that will give you more chances of solving so if you do the previous year questions, if you have practiced previous year questions, you will have an idea from where the where the questions come, from which topics questions come. So pre previous year question sol solving is very important. Along with that, important focus on the important topics rather than going through the entire subject. Let's go through the next tip. Revise and recall. Very important. So as I said, go through the topics which are important. While going through the pre, uh, important topics, you, be, you are revising the subjects that you have learned. So if you have not prepared that part, you can give an attempt, you can prepare the section, give, make notes, understand what is a particular definition is. Later on, later at night before going to sleep or completely finishing a particular topic, start, try, recall it without looking at the note, notebook. So while recalling that, you are memorizing the things that you have learned. So this will give you a two, double effect of learning. Writing and learning, reading and learning, there are different different ways of learning. Recalling is a very effective way for revision also. So whatever you have learned, revising is good. After that, you have to recall. So this thing you have, you can do uh, every day uh, after finishing the entire uh, learning section. You can go through a uh, uh, recalling. So for some time, you just sit and memorize the things that you have learned. Or after two, three days, remember what are, memorize the things that you have learned. Or after one week, memorize the things that you have learned. So that will improve your memory skill or improve the knowledge. Like <clears throat> that will make you thorough with the particular topic. So revise and recall. First, you have to go through the previous questions. Understand the topics which are important. Focus on those topics. Study uh, in detail. Understand the subject. Then come back and revise it. After revising the topic, the, do recall the section. Do memorize the things that you have uh, learned so that it, it will, you will be thorough with the particular topic. If you are not able to recall, please go back again, study the topic, revise it again, then again try to recall it. So until and unless you are not able to recall, that means you are not well informed or you are not well thoroughly studied that particular topic. So until and unless you are, you could, you are able to recall a particular uh, subject, uh, you could recall a particular definition or uh, figure, then only you are thorough with that topic. Let's go to the next one. Solving mock test. So what is the importance of solving mock test? A mock test means, <clears throat> as we know, previous year question paper is there. Other than that, if you have completely finished the, the previous year question paper, mock test means exactly it will be similar to that of the previous year papers. Uh, some coaching institutes might have pro, um, prepared mock test uh, in exact way of next year's year paper. So, solving a mock test will uh, improve your self-evaluation. 
so while solving a paper they will give you <coughs> the you will understand why uh, you made a, a question wrong like even if you knew the answer you marked it wrong so what what wrong with you what is what exactly is your issue then they will and if you are solving the mock test again and again and again and again and you are thorough with that you are good with that that will obviously improve <coughs> your confidence confidence boost is very important for a, pre, a, a competitive exam next thing is time management the better you are in time management the more confident you will be giving for giving an exam time management in such a way that we know 180 minutes of 3 hour paper it is so and there are total 75 questions part a you have to do 15 in part b you have to do 35 part c you have to do 25 and part c is very important four marks question each part c a part b and part a are two mark questions negative marking is there so what you have to do you have to sit while doing the mock test you have to divide this 180 minutes into for each particular question for part a and part b how much minutes you will give for solving a single question for part c how much minutes you can give for solving a, a, a particular question so you have to analyze this analyzation you will get while solving a mock test time management is very important you have to follow a particular time <clears throat> a particular duration for a set of questions a single set question you will solve it within within three minutes part a and part b maximum two to three minutes for part c you can go up to four minutes that is my way of answering. So everybody has different way of approaching. For part C, it requires more time to understand the question, more time to read and get the answer right. Whereas for part A and part B, the questions will be much more simpler. So you, know, you may not require that much time. <coughs> so this time management you will understand by solving the mock test. Identify knowledge gaps. Why? How can it be? While solving a mock test, if you are not able to solve a particular topic sections, for example, if you are, you are not able to uh, do questions related to hydrograph, in uh, different different mock tests, the same hydrograph questions are there and you are not able to do that. That means you are not thorough with hydrograph set and hydrographs are much more very important topics for next year's year. They have asked multiple times in next net paper about hydrograph. So that is a very important topic. That's why it's there in the mock test, but still you are not able to answer that. That means there is a knowledge gap. By studying for half an hour about uh, hydrograph can uh, give you four minutes. So that four marks. So that means this <coughs> identifying knowledge gap is very important that will be provided by solving a mock test. Next one is performance feedback. After finishing a mock test, they will provide you a performance feedback. They will let you know that what are the questions you are attempted, which one are wrong, how many negative marks are there, uh, how many uh, like correct answers were there, how much time you took to solve each question, how much time you took to solve. So that time management will be analyzed. You will understand your knowledge gap over there. You will understand the blunders that we make instead of putting a right in this mock test, there is timer. So you will understand at what particular duration you are giving a paper. So where you have taken more time. So entire feedback of your performance you will get after finishing a mock test. So this is very important to solve a mock test uh, before CSA and examination. So first, you have to understand the exam pattern, then go through the important topics, do the previous year question paper, revise the topics that you have learned, recall them, try to solve the mock test, which is very, very important. Now, here in uh, KP classes, we are providing a CSA specific mock test and the mock test importance is that there will be three mock tests uh, consisting of the same pattern as a net paper. There will be uh, <clears throat> so 150 questions will be there in each set uh, in which only 75 we have to attempt. So you can go use the mock test. If you have never attempted net paper or you have given net paper, you have issues with time management, you, you have issues with uh, not getting a performance feedback, you can go choose the mock papers in our gate uh, KP classes gate app where you can purchase the mock test along with 50 plus topic wise test will be there 2000 plus practice questions are there so this NC, uh, this pack of mock test CSA specific mock test is only for uh, 999 rupees 
So this is very important that there will be enough of topic wise questions. There will be climatology related uh, test paper, oceanography related test paper, atmosphere part uh, related test paper, uh, <coughs> geology uh, subject wise topics test papers will be there. Uh, then planetary science related test papers are there. Along with that, there is 2000 plus practice questions are there. So if there are many, many more questions are there from every topic. If, if it's from geomorphology, 2025 uh, to 25 to 35 questions from geomorphology will be there. If it is oceanography, uh, 100 to 200 questions from oceanography is there in the test series. So each sub, every subject that will be there coming in the net examination syllabus will be covered over here. Almost all subjects are covered, all topics, questions will be there. 2000 plus question papers are there, questions are there. Three mock tests are there along with all the topic wise test series. There are three mock tests and all of this is only for 9999 9, 9, rupees. So choose the CSER net paper which uh, will be utilized. You can utilize that uh, for, the, for scoring a better mark. So once you have done with the paper, when you have uh, studied everything, you have revised, you have recalled, you have attempted pre uh, mock tests, you have uh, finished solving previous year questions and you are all good with the, uh, the exam if, when you are ready, please have an idea about how good your health is. Sleep well and eat healthy before one week before the examination. You should be ready. You should be ready for the exam. Sleep well and eat healthy. Stay calm and confident. That's very important. If you lose your confidence, you won't be able to give the exam properly. And read the instructions carefully. You have to go through the instructions very carefully. How many questions you have to attempt, how many uh, total questions are there and whether you have marked it for review and not attempted, you have to go back and check that. So read the instructions very carefully. Manage your time effectively, which is very, very important. For C part questions, you require more time. So if you spend more time on B and A, you will not get enough time for C. C part questions are of 4 marks and you only have only 25 questions are uh, required for answering. Maximum number of questions required is Okay, uh, it could answer is it can ask, answer is 25. So it's very important to attend for a C part question or question and you require time. So time management is a major factor along with your confidence. You should be very thorough with the subject, solve previous year questions, solve mock tests, understand how good are you in giving net examination, you will boost your confidence. Then Check on your health before going the paper. You should be pretty much healthy. Sleep very nicely so that you can concentrate 100% on, on, on your paper. So for further details about the uh, about our mock test uh, that you can choose, you can go through the KPK uh, classes app uh, which is available both in App Store and Google Play, Play Store. Uh, you can follow us in our Facebook page, YouTube page and Instagram for uh, the earth science related, geology related topics, uh, analyzations or discussions. You can follow us, you will get more and more uh, videos you will be updated with. Then this is our contact information. Uh, you can call us in this particular number or the details that we provided in the description box. Use that to purchase our mock test. Go through the, the study materials are also provided. Uh, you can go through those. Whatever doubts you have, you can contact us in the uh, details given in the description box. Thank you so much. All the best for your net examination.